<laughs> wow, in the inner chamber, we uh, discover two uh, faded ochre sleeping rolls, like uh, kind of like oversized sleeping bags all rolled up with a couple of bungee cords around them. In our inner passageway? <laughs> well, we haven't been here for 30 years. So. And my Earthman, uh, you know, he's... I'm even just borrowing his body right now. I mean, he's so generous. Uh, he's a cave detective. Oh, yeah. He keenly scrutinizes the layer of dust on the sleeping rolls. Uh -huh. And he uh, concludes that they've been there about 20 years. <laughs> yeah. How much dust? 20 years? Mm -hmm. We pause to uh, 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 para paranormally. Well, I'm a goddess, so uh, yeah, we can just go through the eternal mall back to Wendy's. <clears throat> Hikers uh, left their bags there and be them. Oh, yeah. Um, on my planet, just by the way, uh, the two planets I come from, mm -hmm. uh, we were born by, with this truth by identity sense. Mm -hmm. And I taught Earthmen mm. this city, which in Sanskrit means uh, super normal power for an advanced yogi. Mm -hmm. Knowledge by identity faculty. Mm -hmm. Truth perception from the inside by being the so-called other object because it's really not other. That's the secret. Huh? That's how we get in it. Because everything is everything. Everybody's food for everybody else. All energy is uh, energy uh, relating to all other energy. Whoa! Yeah, we understand. You know how now. Uh, uh, that these e adventures uh, were lovers. Vibration? Romantic. Mm. They stashed their bedrolls here for another day. But... Life being like it is, twists and turns, and you know, off they went. Probably the cat man do. Forget Grace, let's go. Smoke hash in the Himalayas. The Greeks all tight about spices of life like that. Yeah. Well, look, I mean, during the last 50 years, uh, uh, Earthman has drawn a few sketch maps of the cave for a few hippie travelers he met in Asia, India, Southeast Asia. Uh, so these two dusty sleeping rolls. Oh. Uh, or uh, perhaps unknown hikers uh, by half and chance found the cave many years ago. Let's look around some more earthy. And Earthmen uh, have fun playing cave. Uh, well, no other items besides these two sleeping rolls. Alien, alien rolls? Oh. oh. No other items in, in, in the cave. It's like, it, it's barren. Uh, uh, no other, no, no hint of residence here. I mean, they might have crashed here, but nobody ever lived in here except us. Yeah. No unfamiliar tools, cookware, lanterns, half-burned candles, uh, mirrors, wall art, uh, journals, uh, garments, papers, anything else. Uh, 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 for instance, no one ever moved Earthman's umbrella where he left it 30 years ago, still right there. Uh, so we confidently conclude that besides these two long ago hikers with the bedrolls, 
Nobody besides us has actually lived in the cave for the last 50 years ago when Earthmen found it. Uh, look, there's no water source here at the cave. Far from Lindos. Uh, like, unless you're an extreme mystic and seeking a multi-year meditation retreat, why bother hanging out here? Living this remotely. Yeah. And besides, the trail after here, yeah, it plunges straight down into the sea, the cliff. This is a one-way... Uh, a uh, cliff walk. You can't go anywhere. Uh, some of us old timers, we remember the movie, The Guns of Navarone, 61 movie, starring Gregory Peck, David Niven, and Anthony Quinn. <laughs> Zorba the Greek, Anthony Quinn, uh, was filmed right exactly in this cliff. This was the cliff climbing scene uh, that opened the movie. And these Hollywood hunks hardly made it out. Especially uh, during a torrential winter rain. I mean, they're freaking out the feral goats. Well, Goddess Earth me in disguise I continue narrating the story uh, when Earthman was living in a cave for months at a time in the 1960s 1970s he found the wood to build our massive king-size bed platform in the room chamber on the beach the wood was on the beach uh, St. Nicholas Bay because just because of the prevailing wind currents and sea currents around the Isle of Rhodes, uh, the beach below our cave is nature's inexhaustible storehouse. For wooden boards, all shapes and sizes, plus endless natural driftwood for our cavern cooking fire. The beach, huh? beleaguered also with salt encrusted rope, entwined fishing nets, plastic bottles, flip-flops, you know, anything will float. You know what? I think I better get out of this rain for a minute. See you soon, okay? Yeah! Woo!